feels so good to be back in New York because a lot of people are like, why do you live in New York City? Why would you live there? And I was just visiting Florida recently. My family lives there. It's nice to visit, but I don't think I could live. And also another thing is the fact that I can just hear jazz music at least once a week. The church that I go to every Sunday, they have a jazz mass. And there's like not really any other church I've ever heard of or been to that has that. Being here for like four to five years, some people are like, oh, you're not like a New Yorker unless you're born here or you've like grew grown up here. It's like, yeah, I can give you that. I'm not trying to say I'm like a New Yorker. But the fact that I've kind of been here and starting to have like my own little spots that I go to and my traditions, it just feels, it's starting to feel a little bit like home. Even though I don't have family here and stuff like that, but it's nice. Sunday's definitely my favorite day of the week because it's just a time to like relax, refresh. I feel like I waited so long in my life to have a job where I could not work on Sundays. And I finally am at that point where I can have Sundays off and it's so nice. Like just being able to have like a consistent schedule. So right now I'm heading to this bar that's actually a few blocks away and they have jazz every Sunday nights. So that'll be good. It's that time of year. The slush, disgustingness. Yeah. <laughs> I'm back in school again so many memories so I was sitting in the bar and as I was sitting there the, the bartender comes up to me and she's like cuz I was by myself so like sometimes people just want to talk to you because you're sitting by yourself and she's like so what did you do this weekend what was like one fun thing that you did or like what's the most exciting thing that you did and I was like uh. <laughs> that's when you realize how boring your life is because I was like um not really anything. I kind of just sat at home all weekend, to be honest. And that's when I, it hit me. I was like, okay, basically, I slept in every day. I worked, and I didn't leave the apartment for two days straight, which is rare because usually I get a little crazy if I don't leave in the whole day. I have to like at least leave my apartment once every day. But a couple days went by and it, was, it snowed and I was gonna go outside and like take pictures and stuff in the snow because actually my school, City College, I mean my former college that I went to is really beautiful when it snows out. It's like Hogwarts here. So I was gonna come down and take some pictures or take a video or something of the snow. But I didn't do that because I was working all day. I work from home now. So basically I could go the entire day and not leave my apartment. Or I go to the coffee shop and get work done. I hope you can hear because it's really windy right now. Um, but I was thinking, I feel like I'm starting to live a boring life. This is like one of my biggest fears is that I'm becoming one of those people who just does the same thing, you know, um, has the same routine. Like when I think about it, I'm like, okay, I do the same thing pretty much every day. A variation. It's like I work from home. I either stay home or I go to like these few coffee shops around my house that I go to to get work done. And I go to church on Sundays and that's when I like actually leave. You know, like sometimes I'll hang out with people and go do something, but rare occasions. So I'm trying to start to push myself to actually get out and do things. Cause I mean, I've been really frugal and trying to save money lately. But in doing this, it's been making me kind of like depressed a little bit because I literally don't do anything anymore. Because I'm like, I have to pay off my student loans, I have to pay rent, I have to pay for all these things. But at the same time, there's a point where you're like, what am I doing with my life? I don't know, it's kind of depressing. So I'm kind of like, maybe I'll just spend a little money here and there to like go out and go to a new museum or something. Today, I was walking through Columbia University and pro tip of like download the la la land soundtrack there's a song called planetarium play that song and walk under the lighted trees of columbia university and walk through the middle campus 
it's a really magical experience and you're welcome. <laughs> you won't regret it. So do that. Yeah, hopefully I'll start making more videos of like actual things soon. People are always like, Melanie, make more videos of you like walking around New York talking about stuff. And I'm like, I mean, yeah, I just don't really get a chance to anymore. So I'm gonna start doing that. Oh, also, when I was in the bar, I was catching up on my journaling because every Sunday I like to catch up on my journals, whether it's like my spiritual journal, my regular journal, my happiness journal. I'll talk about that later. But so I was journaling and this guy sitting next to me like, it's like, oh, what are you writing? Is that like a play or a movie or something or a screenplay or a... He thought I was like writing something. And I was like, no, it's just my journal. And he's like, oh. <laughs> I feel like I have such a boring life when people actually ask me these questions. Like, what do you do for fun? What did you do this weekend? What are you writing? It's like, uh, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Anyways, the life, life and times of Melanie Griesmer brought to you live. Anyways, yeah, I live a pretty boring life lately, but hopefully I'll start doing more adventurous things. Stay tuned for that. Comment below something interesting that I should do in New York City. Any recommendations, adventurous things, new things to do. Let me know. I'm always looking to do new things.